Bill Briggs, Deloitte is out with its tech trends report. So let's see what's hot in tech. And we'll start off with blockchain. Yeah. And it's more than just Bitcoin, right? Yeah. And the, the attention, a lot of it because of cryptocurrency, FSI investments. But really, blockchain is a new technology for trust. It's like a distributed ledger that many people can share. And it's any asset you can define digitally. So currency, for sure or customer loyalty, or electronic medical records, or any kind of transaction, any kind of contract. Uh, and we're in the early days of what it might mean kind of across every industry. It's a fascinating space. The next big trend we keep hearing about now is virtual reality. People are talking yeah. about Facebook and their Oculus Rift, so I guess this is going to be big. Yeah, so virtual reality, immersive environments that you're in uh, that can either be taking realistic situations and make them virtual or creating things that wouldn't be possible in the real world, or augmented reality, which is actually putting an image on top of the world around you to help you do your job differently or experience the world differently. Uh, and the consumer play is going to be huge. You mentioned many, many entries coming out in the next six months. Uh, but the enterprise play, I like to say instead of consumerization, is the enterpriseification of how these things are used to change how work gets done and how business operates is going to be the real uh, adoption curve in the next six to 12 months. And the next big tech trend you're watching is the internet of things. So yeah. people, uh, their refrigerator is talking to their toaster, but it's also <laughs> happening in the office. And, and in the extended enterprise. And what we like to say is two things. The internet of everything, everything around us is getting connectivity. So sensors, intelligent devices, and everything around us. Uh, interesting, but overwhelming. Right? And so in this one, it's how do we not get confused by the, the, all the potential of the things that what they might do, but make it very bounded for a very purposeful outcome. And so how do we use it in a business setting, potentially, um, to not just sense and have visibility into things, but actually do business process differently, work product differently. Um, that's the opportunity. And big data is a trend that doesn't seem to go away because we just keep making more of it. Yeah, and it's what we like to say is it's not about the data, it's about the analytics and the insights. So big or little, it's how do you ask questions that actually have material impact for what you do? Um, and then how do you get it to not just insights, but outcomes? So with analytics and data, how do we actually put it to work in a way that has someone do their job differently, make a decision differently, interact with you as a company differently, as a consumer? Uh, so the big data gets a bit distracting, uh, so you have to make it much more bounded uh, and purposeful again. Uh, so there's a theme here of you know, a lot of potential places to get overwhelmed. How do you actually make it real? All right, well, I've heard a lot of, about a lot of those, but the next one I haven't heard too much about, it's autonomic platforms. Autonomic what exactly are they? <laughs> it's a mouthful, huh? Uh, so it's a bit of the actual underpinnings of every company is a technology company. So every company is using technology for not just efficiency, but to drive transformation, to drive new product services offerings. The, underlying technology in most big companies and government agencies hasn't had a lot of investment over the years. So autonomic platforms, two things. Bottom up, can we make our physical infrastructure, the things that run the IT stack, more efficient, more agile? Uh, and so software-defined servers and network devices and storage. Virtualization, containers, there's a lot of things happening from the bottom up. If we wanted to spin the geek um, beanie, we could go into it. But it's also from the top down of how work is done inside IT. And so it's automating a lot of the process around how do we develop, how do we maintain solutions. And they come together beautifully. So it's agility from the back end up and agility from the top end of how work gets done down. All right, so a lot of investors are going to be watching this video thinking, how can I make money off these trends? If you were in their shoes, what would you tell them? Yeah, so every one of these is within the next 18 to 24 months of hitting mass adoption. So part of it is the players creating the platforms and the tools around these spaces uh, are potentially places that are going to have a lot of impact. Flip it, the companies that are showing they're reimagining their core business because of technology, in the experience that they're giving the customers, in the way they're actually rethinking how work is done, in new products and services offerings and the like, those are the places that are going to be the winners in this next decade plus. Embracing technology to full potential, reimagining their business, you know, building tomorrow, starting today. All right, well, thanks a lot, Bill Briggs. Hey, great pleasure. Thank you for watching The Street.